Yeah. See, Tom Hanks actually finally, finally got it, right? So it's a Shiraz. I do like wine that's matured in American. This story usually takes more than just a bottle of wine, but we'll try to condense it in. What you've created is an entirely new marketing channel. We should really be looked at as a revenue center rather than a cost center. People that generally didn't trust the online market in the past and always preferred the in-store experience have sort of been forced to, to, to try out the online world. But then there's this thing called supply and in a pandemic, you know, that just goes away. This sounds like a game changer for the retail industry. I'll just put it out there. People are definitely prepared to pay more. They're also prepared to wait longer to receive, right? The challenge has always been to make that a profitable exercise. Most businesses that think about how to innovate their business, I think this becomes the, the you know, on the top of their list. If you ask 10 people, which would they prefer? A product that is, you know, that they've been able to customize or personalize to their own requirements or not, the answer will be that the customer will always prefer to have something that's been made for them. It's not a Louis Vuitton, it's your Louis Vuitton. And that's the difference. Someone that's partnered with us is going to be at the forefront of what personalization and customization can do across any product. We can actually portray what the end product is going to look like to almost perfection in 3D. But, you know, this is that's pretty cutting edge. We're seeing a significant reduction in the dropout rates in the cart, which they saw global sales increase by a significant amount. Sounds like you guys will be unicorn status pretty soon. Well, let's hope. <laughs> <laughs>